Hello and welcome back to Von Milhausen Plays Rise of the Triad. We have just entered Sebastian Christ. Dun dun dun. I believe that is the name of the boss of this, the second episode of the game. So I suspect this is the last episode or the last level before we move on to episode three. Uh, we're in a fairly quiet room to begin with. That looks like a very obvious push wall. Well, let me just uh, set up my quick save while I'm at it. There we go. So, what have we got? Okay, some weapons, some health, healing basin. Anything else looks suspicious? Not apparently. So let's move on. This looks like a nice bright episode or a bright level. Oh, we've got dudes on the left and the right. Let's just wait for somebody to come up to us here. Care of these guys. It's probably somebody behind me. Okay. Oh. Poor people. And that looks like another very obvious touch wall. Who is shooting me? Him. He kind of blended into the walls. Uh oh. Uh, I don't have a good weapon, so let me take the bazooka and back up from the door because I suspect we are about to have an enforcer. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice of you guys to stop in for a visit. It's like a corridor of death. Okay, well, let's head this way first. Oh dear. How about you eat lead in the form of the lead tip of this bazooka round? That was a rough comparison. Uh, okay. Accidentally clicked inside the window there and the mouse went crazy. So let's save and see what's in here. I heard another one of these dudes. There we go. Whoops. Doing the distance. Another dude. I didn't see anybody else in there, did I? This door appears to be locked. Oh, it must be a time door. There's no, uh, there's no key on it. Um, what's in there? If we have a look at the minimap, it looks like a whole bunch of point tokens and some fire bombs. Yeah, uh, they're nice, but I don't particularly care unless like one of these pillars or something is a fake. Uh, maybe this one. No, nope. could be one of the pillars, I suppose. Now let's just wait till minute three and see if it opens in. Ah, it does. How convenient. Let's get ourselves these point tokens because we need the extra lives. We're, we're nearly out. Hashtag sarcasm. No, I don't want to keep picking up my old weapon again. There we go. Oh, wait, there wasn't anything else secret in here. That's it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's not have the firebomb out because it's lethal. Which is normally a good thing, but in this case, it's a bad thing. There we go. Firebomb is a real problem solver. So we have this vessel's armor there. That looks like a fake wall, doesn't it? This push wall appears to be locked. So you're real, you're fake. That one's real, but that one there is fake. Push wall is locked. Hmm. Oh. I'm not sure I want to break the glass windows, so I just want to be a bit careful there. Okay, anybody else want some? No. Uh, was there anybody behind the glass? No, it doesn't look like it. Just a bunch of tokens. Which are actually kind of awkward to pick up. 
Let's try that one more time. Nope. Nope. They're just kind of badly lined up. Oh well. I don't care about them enough to... Uh... Oh wait, I only need three more for extra life. One... Two, three. There we go. Okay, there didn't seem to be anything else in there. So have a look at the mini-map. Um, no, nothing looks too weird. We have some asbestos armor there, but I don't know what we need it for yet. So let me just leave it. And uh, let me see if I can show you something interesting that I discovered here. Right, if you have a look at the mini-map, there's a dead body here in front of us. And if I zoom all the way out, you can see it's a green dot on the radar. But if I run over the dead body, then the green dot disappears. That doesn't happen with touch plates. So uh, if you look at this room here beside me, this orange room, if I zoom out one level, you can see there's two green dots kind of on the lower part of the floor, and then a few more kind of above the door. If we run in here, those are these dead bodies and some bits of debris running over the dead bodies. Oh. Ah, it does remove them from the minimap, but the two dots that are showing here are that pile of debris and that pile of debris. So dead bodies will show up on the minimap as green dots until you run over them, which I guess like discovers them or something, and then removes them from the minimap. And uh, pressure pads show up as green dots as well. So you want to kind of clear out as many bodies as you can. Uh, now this looks like a fake wall. I'm just save. Oh lord, really? Oops, god. I've done bad things. I hit a media key and accidentally exited the game. There we go. Well, it all worked out for the best anyway. The goon squad have shown up. Okay. Anybody else want some? I'm sure somebody else in here is going to want someone. I bet there's going to be another bloody enforcer. Yep, there he is. And it sounds like we got him already. Firebomb. It's a real, real problem solver. No, nope, I don't want to catch that. Thank you. Oh, Lord. There we go. One direct hit from the firebomb will take care of one of those dudes. Oh, and there's another one. And I've hit the flipping media key again. God damn it. Why am I doing that so much today? Uh, bear with me, I'm going to disable that key. Okay, I think that should be it now. Let's take care of that guy. Oh, he didn't die in one hit. Nearly, though. Okay, let me just try accidentally hitting one of the media keys. Okay, at least it's doing in-game stuff. Ah. Oops. Who? Where? Oh, it's somebody on the far side here. Oh, and there's an enforcer over there as well. I can't shoot them from here. Uh, or can I? Oh, 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 there's an enforcer coming. There's an enforcer coming. Okay, that's one down. Oh god, he can make it through there. Okay, he's half blowing himself up. Oh, yeah, he can make it through there, alright. Keep blowing yourself up, buddy. I've got time. I can fast forward the video for my friends here. There we go. Uh, I could do with some health, so I'm actually going to run back and get some of that. Okay, so. Uh, oh, there's some asbestos armor in the corner there that might have actually been useful against the, uh, the enforcers. Uh, there's some health there that I totally failed to notice. And we have this arrangement. What's going on here? Oh, there's something in there. Oh, it's another firebomb. How many shots are left in the one I have? Oh, I'm all out. Then, uh, yoink, thank you very much. Uh, is there maybe a secret pressure plate in here? Oh no, I can't reach in there, because the uh, gravitational anomaly disks are in the way. 
and those ones are half in the way as well. Uh, oh, that looks like another fake wall. Let's just quickly save. Has to be somebody in here, right? Really? There's nobody in here? Um, okay. Well, what do we have? Let's have a look at the minimap. So the white dots are jump pads and the green dots are other entities, which could theoretically be pressure pads. Uh, so what I will do is, and I don't see anything super weird on the minimap, except maybe over in this corner. No, that's all filled in now. Um, then I will do a quick uh, scout around here and I will see if I can find any pressure pads and I'll bring you back. Okay, well I've had a look around and I don't see anything. So let's carry on. There weren't any secret walls that I could spot there either. Actually, let me just give uh, this outer area a quick scout for secret walls as well and I'll bring you back. Nope, no secret walls there that I can find. So we do have this corridor. Uh, I'll give this a quick scout as well, because otherwise I don't think we'll be coming back here. Nope, all clean and clear. So that then just leaves us with uh, these two doors. So let's have a quick save. Uh oh. Let's just wait for these guys to climb over the GEDs by themselves. It'll make them easier to shoot. Okay. Uh, we have. Oh, I was just about to say, well, we have a key for that door, but we don't. Uh, I believe that key was actually in one of the previous rooms and I just never picked it up. So, one moment. Ah, yes, here we go. I remember seeing the little wooden table, but I just never actually went over and picked up the key. Okay, so before we open the door, quick save and. Okay, there's another dude just there. Nobody else that way. Okay, and some tokens. So, what have we got? We have a gold key door. And we have a regular door. And some health items. Let me just destroy some of these objects so they stop showing up on the map and run over the bodies that they're quote unquote discovered. And let's see what we've got. And there is one green dot in the corridor over this way i think it's these maybe no one more down ah it's that tommy gun okay and then other than that we have flat wall surfaces so i'm not sure about secrets let me have a quick look nope no secrets that i can find so through the door we go Okay, I heard the enforcer, and there he is. And I did some damage to him. Ow. Okay, I currently did not do nearly enough damage to him. Uh, anybody else? Anybody trapped and want something? Okay, there's some health here. Some explodo barrels. They're not the super good ones though. Just blue label. And uh, okay, we have door number one, door number two, three, and four, and nothing. Let's have a look on the minimap and see if there's anything super weird. There's some asbestos armor there. Okay, nothing too crazy, so yeah. Let's check out door number one. Okay. It's 
All relatively straightforward. There's another door here. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the minimap. Just looking for dark lines that might be pressure plates. Oh, there's maybe something right at the start. But no, okay. Uh, do we get a sense of the overall shape of the map yet? No. Although this, I put an arrow to it, that kind of empty central area was where the gold key door kind of led into. And that looks like it might make a good small arena for the boss. So maybe Chris is in there. Uh, right. Okay, well then let's keep going this way and have a look. Oh wait, hang on, that's definitely a secret wall right there. Yep. And we just have some health, which I will take, and nothing else. Any more secret walls in here? No. Okay, so what's through the door? Some dudes are probably going to get flamed to death. Yep. Didn't even have a chance to shoot him. And there's a dude over there in the corner that I'm pretty sure is faking it. There we go. Alright, there's another door there. What else have we got? More random health. Okay. Anything else? Oh, there's something in the middle of the room. Oh, it's probably one of these dead bodies. Uh, I kind of don't really want to run over them. Ow. For exactly that reason. Oh, there might be enough health here for me to recover kind of nicely. Yeah, that'll do. And the green dot is gone. So there's one dot. Uh, which way? That way, right? Yeah, that's that dot destroyed. There's another one over in that corner. Right, no more dots on the floor. So anything else that would be in here would have to just be a secret wall. And I don't see anything obviously sticking out. So let's... Proceed onto the door. Okay. Firebomb doing some work for us again. Taking care of two enforcers. Let's just do a quick scout for secrets. Okay, let's have another door. Okay, no more secrets here. There's our gold key. Let's have a look to see if any of these walls maybe look like they're dark enough to be secret walls. Uh, hmm. Let's just have a quick zoom in. I don't see any of the dark lines kind of indicating a... Uh, a pressure plate, so I don't think there's any in here. There could, of course, be secret walls, but I'm kind of hoping not, because this place looks nasty. So let's go get that key. Ow. Let's load and then go get that key. Okay. So we have to dodge this fireball, get the key, and then reverse. Like that. Excellent. And while we're over here, we can kind of move further away from that corner and check the lighting. I don't think there's anything secret there. There is that one section of wall that has a different texture, but that seems a bit of a stretch. And it's the one that's being belted by that fireball, so I kind of don't really want to test it. And I think my bullet holes are showing up in it, so I don't need to. Grant. So we have the gold key now. Let's just make sure we're topped up on health. 
keep me an eye out for any other potential secret walls. Okay. A quick look like that will do just fine. So let's see through the next set of doors. Okay. The dude off in the distance. Got him. Die. How about I don't die and we say I did. Outside Another dude there. Okay, I think I got him. That looks like an enforcer. Oh, I'm just gonna belt the crap out of him. Okay, we are out of super weapon. So I might be revisiting that room we found earlier if the door is still open that had the uh, three firebombs in it. Although there is a split missile here, which I haven't used before. The split missile, as you can see, has two barrels, and when you fire it, a single missile shoots out, as it were. Uh, as long as you hold down the fire button, and then as soon as you let go of the fire button, that missile splits into two that then head off at a 45 degree angle. If I remember correctly, it has been some time. That looks like a fake wall right there. There we go. We have these two suspicious looking dark walls right beside each other, but didn't seem to be anything. Let me finish scouting here for secrets. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. Quick look for pressure plates in the general area as well. Because we still have that one locked push wall over the near the start of the map. Haven't found the secret for that yet. Okay, I don't see anything else in there in terms of pressure plates. But of course we have to check for yieldy secret walls. So I will go do that and I will bring you back. Okay, I've had my scout around here and I don't see anything. Uh, so... I don't really think there was any point in here other than some extra items. Hmm... There are some green dots, but I think those are just like bodies and stuff. Let me just do a quick run over them all. Hopefully remove them from the minimap. Okay, there's one more down here, which is this guy. Okay, all the green dots are gone. Um, yeah. I see one spot up here in this corridor. Where, like, normally you would see, like, a contiguous line like that, but here it's kind of broken. So let me just go check that one spot in case I missed it when I was scouting before. But other than that, I think we are ready to go back to the gold door. And as I say, I still have not found the, uh, the pressure plate or whatever to unlock uh, this secret wall right here. Maybe that's unlocked from inside the gold key area. Who knows? Okay, so it would be this one. Oh, and it is a secret. Aha. And we got a firebomb, which to be honest, I would much rather than my split missile. And is there anything else here that looks super dodgy? No. Okay, so I am still potentially missing secrets, even when I think I'm checking everywhere fully. Ah, well. Uh, right, okay, let's head back to the gold key then, because I'm not really sure of anything else to look for around here. Okay, here we go, the gold key door. I think Sebastian Chris is on the other side. Pretty sure this is his arena. I've alerted Sebastian Chris, and there is a, an enforcer over there making his way over to me. Ok, 
Okay, that's... The forts are taken care of. Ah, okay, and that touch plate steal the door. I hear him. It's him going blood. Oh, there's a dude over there. Trying to clear out as many of his minions as I can. Okay, that's the man himself. He has this kind of motorized throne and he fires missiles. Oh, and he fires mines, apparently. Uh, okay. Oh, I think that's a secret wall. Oops. Ah, okay, so this does let you back out to this area. Right. But did that trigger before I hit the switch? Like, is that already open now? No, it's not open yet. When does this open? Uh, must open when I hit that touch plate. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, you can't hurt him with uh, conventional weapons. Has to be with the super explodey stuff. Okay. Uh, let's hit him another time. Okay, we need a bazooka or something. So we can just kind of keep running around and avoiding him, I guess, maybe. Let's just go and avoid him again. Might be going back for the split missile. Okay, there we go. We have a bazooka. Where is he? Let me just save off over in this corner. I think I'm relatively safe. Actually, I may as well go trigger that thing so I get the curiosity bonus, potentially. Okay, he's firing those little bouncy mines again. Oh, he got me. Let's go grab some of his health. You come back here. Okay, we need to go find ourselves another missile weapon. Uh, there we go. Where is he now? There he is. Ooh, those things are really, really pain making. Let's go grab some more health. Okay, it's kind of in between me and my next missile weapon. Go on, go this way. Excellent. So we want to go back around here. There he goes. He turned blue, spins in a circle, and... Sploot. Sparkly! Sebastian Doyle Christ rest in peace. Yeah. Boss defeated. Oh, we missed one secret wall somewhere. Eight out of nine. Oh, well, that's close enough. Adrenaline bonus, 10,000 points. Democratic bonus, number one, 5,000 points. So that is the end of episode two of Rise of the Triad. The hunt stands before a pair of ominous wooden doors. The sounds of machinery and servo motors fill the air. What awaits beyond the door? We will have to wait and find out in the next episode of Von Milhausen Plays Rise of the Triad.